And we are back. And we just finished 2023's colossal monster hit, the Super Mario Brothers movie. This is rated PG, and it clocks in at one hour and 32 minutes. I am incredibly tired and slept through 70% of this film. (laughs) Every other member of my family enjoyed the crap out of this film and thought it was really cute and loved it. I cannot really opine here. I feel like I may have actually slipped through even more than 70% of this film. I remember the beginning and I was shamed into waking up for the end. You woke up for several times. And yet we none of it we actually none of it stuck in my brain. Bro. I yeah. yeah. I was I was trying you guys to watch this movie. I was trying to, to not snore it. and sneak a nap, but you people kept trying to wake me up. I'm terrible. I'm tired. Your your daughter picked this movie. I know. You should have show I respect. I really tried to. to watch. I screamed at you guys to watch this it wasn't, movie. You know it wasn't what? bad. If you had gotten your life together, we would have seen it last week when I was more <laughs> awake. So this is on you, Olivia. Oh my God. All right. Well, uh, since you picked it, Olive, t- yes, tell us what Tell you us thought. about this film so Mama can take some Z's now. Uh, no, Mom. How do I describe this with, like, out spoiling it? Well, well, tell the, us. Don't get, just don't give any details. I mean, the, the plot is the plot. It's it's Super Mario goes into the Mushroom okay, Kingdom okay. to uh, save so his uh, <laughs> his brother, father. Uh, <laughs> so the Super Mario movie is about a Brooklyn plumber named Mario, um, voiced by Chris Pratt. Yes, uh, and like he. Does his, he have a and, sister? And, and his brother Luigi, too, right? Yes. Played by oh Charlie Day. <laughs> Just so let me say the thing. <clears throat> so the uh, Super Mario movie is about a Brooklyn pl- plumber named uh, uh, Mario. And uh, the business is also run by Luigi. And one day, they're like, uh, they're like in the tunnels of the sewer. And they get sucked into a pipe. And they get separated from each other. And Mario wakes up in the Mushroom Kingdom trying to save and find his brother. And then he goes on an adventure with Princess Peach in an to- an anthropomorphic mushroom named Toad. Anthropomorphic. Excellent Very good. vocabulary word there. Yeah. I just remember it from uh, deciding is Goofy a coward dog. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Still, excellent use of vocabulary. And he... They go on this adventure to find his brother and save the Mushroom Kingdom from Bowser's who is evil voiced, turn. <laughs> who is voiced by the lovely Jack Black. Does well, a great job. Does a great job. What did you think of the movie, Al? I thought it was great. Is this the best movie of 2023 no, for you? No. Oh. FNAF! Oh. That come hasn't come on. out yet. You know yet what? That, that could be absolute garbage for all uh, we know. Uh, no, I, I believe that this move, that, this, the, that the FNAF movie can make it. FNAF is Five Nights at Freddy for anybody not in the know. <laughs> yeah. Bro, everyone knows. For everyone everybody, should know what FNAF is. Nobody my, nobody F- my age knows what the hell FNAF is. Oh, my means. God. Yeah. No, you mo- are dumb. Most, <laughs> most people my age yeah. have no idea what the hell Five Nights at Freddy is. Yeah, that's true. Oh, my God. It's a masterpiece. It's not. It's a stupid it's, video game. Listen, so far, that movie has not come out yet. Is there any movie that has come out this year that could beat this movie? Uh, I mean, I forgot all the if we're we going to talk about year. box office, I don't know. I, we're not I'm, talking about box office. I, I can't remember all the movies we watched this year. All right. Well, according to IMDb, the budget on this film was a hundred million dollars. I right. that out, didn't it? Opening weekend on April 9th of this year. April. It's been in the theater a little over a month. Mm-hmm. Opening weekend, US and Canada, one hundred forty six million three hundred sixty one eight sixty five. The gross in US and Canada alone, five hundred fifty two million. Six hundred eleven thousand nine hundred seventy-five. The worldwide gross. Oh my god, 
the worldwide gross mm-hmm. one billion two hundred and fifty eight wow. million five hundred and fifty thousand eight hundred and eighty four. So yeah, I mean, I mean this could would, possibly be the the movie to beat. That's amazing. Uh, and and it's, it's and only it's, been out since April 9th. That is bananas. And it's good, but it's it, it's not it's not a billion it's not, dollar it's movie. Not that good. Yeah. But what do I know? I mean, I thought Renfeld was great, but that made like $20,000 or something. Like that. <laughs> I think so. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Which is a crime, but whatever. America. I guess Jesus. you ain't taking your, your, your little kid to see Renfield. Oh, yeah. I guess. <laughs> I mean, you and I probably would, but nah, we're well, not I mean, the norm not here. The, not the type of kid. Like, like, I imagine this is PG, so yeah, they're, they're bringing true. like six-year-olds to the theater that's and true. stuff. You ain't bringing us, even, even us, we would not bring a six-year-old to see Renfield. Unless they <laughs> know, know how to make babies. Wait, what? <laughs> I don't know. Random comment. From all all right. Of uh, <laughs> I'm so out of it. G, your thoughts, please. It was cute. Yeah, what was so cute about it? I mean, I like the story, and uh, Mario games are fun. So, huh? what did you think of the animation? It was good. Yeah. Like, it was the best I've seen, but there are way worse things out here. So, I think they did pretty good with animation. It's not as pretty as, like, Arcane. Well, no. But Arcane is completely different. A different style, well, for sure. Yeah, it's a different style. I mean, as far as the animation goes, it was it was pretty top-notch. There wasn't any jankiness, no weird lighting. No. The, yeah. the character models were The character models were, were pretty spot-on to, like, the video game. I'm sure somebody's going to... I remember there was some griping about Mario's butt not being round enough or something. Bro, <laughs> really? <laughs> that yeah, was real people thing. were upset really? that Mario wasn't thick people like in the People on the internet game. will complain about <laughs> everything. <laughs> Bro. Good. I also liked in the beginning, because again, I can't really apply too much on this film, but I also liked in the beginning their little... I, I mean, I don't know if this is a spoiler, but the Mario Brothers make a commercial for their little plumbing company. And the animation in that is different than, I guess, what real life looks like here. Was it? I mean, it it, it had a more 80s feel to it. The little well, commercial. I mean, because of the... Yeah, I guess maybe the, they put a little grain on it and, and uh, the, you know, the 80s rap. Right, right. It yeah. was like it was like an eighties. Yeah, it was like a total eighties. And, and they, and they sort of use that as a way to sort of hand wave away Mario's super thick Italian accent. Yeah, yeah. Which I guess it's all right. I personally would just be like, "Come on, it's fine." Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm half as, Italian. As part of and, the, and I was gonna say, as part of the yeah. Italian American contingency, I I do not find people with crazy Italian accents offensive in any way. No. Yeah, guess what? They exist. Italians have thick accents from Italy coming to America speaking tr- speaking English. They talk like this. Yeah. <laughs> Francesco yeah. Pansini. Oh, oh my God, you're f- my favorite. Squeeze well. well okay. <laughs> I don't think anybody's what? gonna understand what that means other than you and me. Um. <laughs> I have many questions. Well, I'll tell you later. When um, you're older, you'll learn about Francesco. What did you think of the film? I thought it was good. I mean, it's not, it's not the greatest movie. I, I even like, even why as far it, as kids' movies go. Why is it so hard? I don't mean to cut you off, but you should be used to it by now. Yeah. Why is it so yeah. hard to adapt <laughs> video games to the film medium? It's just like the same with Ugly Sonic. Yeah, I mean they've gotten better. Mm-hmm. Like originally, when something was based on a video game, it was generally guaranteed to suck in the, as far as movies go even if even if it made money it was like well it's not really the video game like mm-hmm. like all the silent not silent uh resident evil movies nobody like fans of the resident evil games hate those movies they're not really that big fans because it, it's the movies have nothing to do with the games right, right. The, even the characters they just oh they they have the same names but they're they're not really the characters in the games and the games are very different and for the longest time they've all like any video game adaptation was just 
garbage. Like Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter. I like the new Mortal Kombat. The new ones, yeah, I'm saying oh. that they've gotten better at it. But the first, the original Mortal Kombat, the one with Christopher Lambert is Raiden. <laughs> That was what the great. hell is what are you Christopher talking Christopher Lambert being Raiden for? What about Street Fighter with Jeremy Irons? Was that no no Wait. Raul Julia and, oh, no. and John Claude Van Damme was Street Fighter? What the what was the one that uh, Jeremy Irons did? Jeremy Irons was in the, the original Dungeons and Dragons Dungeons, movie. Oh, which that's was, right. Which is not a video game, but it was still yeah. garbage. Yeah. But now they've gotten a lot better. I mean, you, now it's just not it's not a mark of a crappy movie. This this was good. It's not the best video game adaptation sort of movie, but it's it's. I, I actually like like to me, Sonic is a better movie. Yeah, I really liked both Sonic movies. They did yeah. a really they're, good job with that character yeah, and those films. Sonic were, was amazing. It yeah, was those, amazing. Those are better than way better than they had any right to be. Considering. Yes, considering yeah. Um, Although I liked, I I didn't really play any of the Mario. Uh, games, but I did like Donkey Kong better than Sonic. As a video game. As a video game. Yeah. I okay. thought Sonic was a really huge fat jerk that liked chili dogs before. What? <laughs> before, when I was little, I thought Sonic was a huge fat jerk that liked chili dogs. Why would you? Why would and you I really wanted like to that? punch him for some reason. <laughs> You must have confused him with somebody else because Sonic was never fat. No. Was, and I don't think he ever ate chili dogs, did he? No. Bro, I thought he ate chili dogs. All right. I thought that was his thing. I have no idea what you're talking about. But but now video game movies seem to be doing well. I mean, they seem to be putting more care into the process. I mean, compare this to the original Oh my Super God. Mario that was trash. Movie. But um, I enjoyed it. I, I would I like mean, I had to a fun time with input that. that Sonic absolutely loves chili dogs. Oh, does he? Yes. Oh, does he? You, you didn't to... know that? No. I, I am not Bro, I am not up Sonic on my Sonic movies. lore. Oh my God, we watched the Sonic the Hedgehog movies. You should know. <laughs> I thought he was into Krispy Kremes. Yeah, or was that He didn't eat a single Lord. chili dog in that he movie. Loved chili yeah, I, I don't remember seeing him that eating. He, like summoned a chili dog in like the second. Was it the second movie? Maybe. Yeah. That sounds vaguely I familiar. He was just eating donuts. That no, was. I that think was that was not, donut. That Lord, was donut the, lord. The, oh, the, all right. Yeah, no. It? I James think Morrison. when he gets I, like the all powerful crystal, he summons a chili dog, and they're like all relieved. But that's like that's one that. thing, like. And that was one time. It wasn't like he was constantly asking yeah. for chili. You, you know what the the Sonic movie? It was good, but it it didn't it change my models. life. Yeah, to the point where I'm going to remember it. Yeah, I love the Sonic the Hedgehog movie. It was entertaining. Right, it was, it was, it was but, entertaining. But proof that video games are not just terrible to make it to movies. You, you can also, do it if you have good writing and. You know, I also, I mean, I didn't even know it was a game, but I also liked Uncharted. That Uncharted was, was movie. they did a decent job with Uncharted. Although a lot of people complained about that. Oh uh, yeah, uh, the the last the last Mortal Kombat was actually very good. I liked it. Yeah, that was great. We we liked that one a lot. Yeah, although they butchered the crap out of it on cable. On, they, you can't show that on regular. regular uh, so then cable. why even? Why I don't even know. Screen it's, it. it's like why even bother? Yeah. But anyway, um, back to Super Mario back Brothers. To Super Mario Brothers. Yeah, this was to me. This was just good. It was, you're not going to want to die watching it like some kids' movies are. Peter Rabbit? But this no. isn't like Peter Rabbit. <laughs> oh, my God. Don't even mention Peter Rabbit. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it, it just, it, it, to me, it, it if I'm, like, really being critical about it, it felt like there was, like, certain things that they, that were just missing. Like, I, I think you said, somebody said that it, that it, it lacked kind of, like, it lacked heart. Maybe that's it for me. It, it just it there seemed to be a little bit more. It seemed to be sort of like a like a piecemeal, almost like a, a, a factory line type movie where this happens, okay, then this happens, and then this happens, but none of it felt cohesive. Yeah, there were like different set pieces, but the characters weren't strong enough to sort of like glue it all together. Mm, interesting. I thought it was great. I mean, no, no, it was good. Like it, it was good. I still Star doesn't need heart to be I, great. Sometimes, Dad. Yeah, so but that's. You, for but you, in I'm, order I'm for an audience to make it. that emotional connection, it's 
it's good for the it, audience to. It doesn't need to make an emotional connection, though. All right, I guess it does. Not for a kid, no. Yeah. But uh, when you're older, you're gonna want a little bit more but to your stories. Meat on the, the to your stories. You, you look at me weird, but it's true. You, yeah. As w- there's a reason why adults don't read little golden books anymore. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what are old books? Like the Three Little Pigs and the, the books we used to read when you were a little kid, <laughs> like Little P and Little Hoot. Adults aren't like sitting around discussing Little P and Little Hoot and they know, should or honestly book clubs. or honestly, good or Good should. Night Moon or Good Night My Moon. My arts nemesis. I I'm hated s- that I'm, book. I didn't. I don't get Good Night Moon. I honestly, I think Good Night Moon is an actual spell to put children to sleep because apparently it works. I don't think it's. Did it put our kids to sleep? Yeah. I don't remember. I was like pretty amazed by the fact that it would put a kid to sleep. <laughs> It was a, it was a enchanting. Yeah, for apparently, for a little kid, yeah, that and a pacifier, and that kid, it's it like, out like it's a like, light. Yeah. they're gone. It's like anesthetic. I think for all of it was the movement of cars. Anytime we were I in a car, I love cars. Any movement, really. And buses. Yeah. Anytime there was movement and she was involved, she was out like. Cold. All right, we're on we're tangent. Time. I fell asleep at a Katy Perry concert. <laughs> yeah, that was impressive. It was loud. I don't know how you did that. That was amazing. You really are my daughter, because I feel I feel that way right now. I'm All like, right, well you're sleepy. Let's wrap this up. All right, Let's uh, just get I'm gonna get numbers. I w- I'm gonna start with you and go around the table. One to ten. Uh, I give this a seven. A seven, Gigi. I think seven and a half. Seven and a half, Olive G. This is for you. How much? Nine. A nine. I'm going to abstain from voting because I don't think it's fair. Um, I really didn't watch this film. I couldn't tell you a damn thing about it. I think I saw the first maybe ten minutes, and then something happened to me on that damn couch, and I just I couldn't stay You're awake. Gone. Yeah, I I know that you people like elbowed me and shamed me into waking up every <laughs> once in a while, but well, that's because we want you to wake up. You need I to watch I really this movie. wanted to so that I could participate in this review, but I am so goddamn tired right now. You shouldn't have woke enough to watch that movie. I probably we probably should have scheduled should've this another time this before tomorrow. whatever. We gotta get these reviews in. But anyway, uh, it, it was good. The voice cast was good. The animation was good. Uh, the story was was solid enough to carry the to carry it through an hour and a half. I think you should take your kids to watch this. Yeah, I mean, it, even though it's I not didn't insufferable. see it. Yeah, I yes. mean, even though I didn't see it, I mean, I could. I'm mean, just based on the first ten minutes of the film. It it looked cute. It looked sweet. The voice actors were really great. I love Charlie Day. Yeah, and he, Chris, should, he should do more. He should do more stuff. Uh, Chris Pratt doesn't bother me. I know the internet has a love-hate relationship with him, but whatever. He doesn't bother me. I It did kind of piss me off that he didn't do It's a me, Mario, but whatever. He, he did. He did, did. He did I in, mean, the in the commercial. The, that's the, it, but not like the rest of the film. Yeah, I, I'm sure. I guess you could only I'm, say that so many I'm, times. Mario I'm gonna references. Wait. Yeah, there's lots. Oh, mm-hmm. the, the game has tons of yeah, Mario references references this to old uh, Nintendo games or mm-hmm. throughout Brook the their version of Brooklyn. Yeah. Um, as far as not doing the the accent, I'm sure there was pressure. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. The, and uh, for you games uh, fans of the game, there is a nod, or at least I woke up to see the Rainbow Bridge or Rainbow Rainbow Ops, Road, Rainbow Road, Road the whatever the hell it is, and all of. All, of I think Rainbow Road All three of them? I hate Rainbow Road. All of I them? There's, I heard there's different ones. There's different ones. Some of them are less egregious than others, but there was one on the Wii that... That was shite. It, there's no oh. guardrails anywhere. You plunge off it almost every single time. I hate it. I hate it. I bet, it the, I bet the, all the kids are just conquering that, like, Nothing. Oh, I mean, I started playing Mario Kart long after my hand-eye coordination had disintegrated with age. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. Uh, what'd you say? Seven, eight and a half, nine? Or what'd you say? Eight? 
What'd no, you she say? said seven and a half. Oh, I said seven. you said seven, uh, seven and a half, and a nine. All right, let's say good night now. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I, I'm tired, but I, I would still see this. I think if I had a little kid, I would still take my kids to see this. Yes, great movie for kids. It's a totally great movie for kids, and that's it from us. And we will bid you all a Yoshi. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.